Hey guys, here's today's question. A solute added to a solvent raises the boiling point of the solution because A. The temperature needed for boiling must be great enough to boil not only the solvent but also the solute. B. The solid particles lower the solvent's vapor pressure, thus requiring a higher temperature to cause boiling. C. The solute particles raise the solvent's vapor pressure, thus requiring a higher temperature to cause boiling. D. The solute increases the volume of the solution, and an increase in volume requires an increase in the temperature to reach the boiling point, derived from PV equals NRT or E. Two of the statements above are correct. Two important topics for this video are going to be vapor pressure and boiling point. Vapor pressure is basically the pressure exerted by a vapor in equilibrium with its liquid or solid state. Simply put, how quickly and completely a liquid evaporates. Another important thing is the stronger the intermolecular forces, the lower the vapor pressure. With stronger intermolecular forces, it would be difficult for the molecules on the surface to escape, hence decreasing the vapor pressure. So moving on, boiling point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a liquid equals the external pressure and opposite of vapor pressure, the stronger intermolecular forces, the higher the boiling point. Another important topic is colligative properties, which are properties of solutions that depend only on the number of solid particles and not on their identity. Boiling point elevation is one of these colligative properties. It means that whenever solid is added to the solvent, it will raise the boiling point of the solution. Option A says that the temperature needed to boil the solution should be great enough to not only boil the solvent, but also the solid, which is not true. Since boiling point is a colligative property, it does not depend on the identity of the solute. Thus, it does not depend on its boiling point. A good example for this is NaCl or table salt. The boiling point for NaCl is 1465 degrees Celsius, and the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. But the boiling point for one molal aqueous solution of NaCl is 101 degrees Celsius. This example shows that option A would be incorrect. Moving on to option D, PV equals NRT is the ideal gas law. In this equation, T stands for temperature, and an increase in volume may raise the temperature of the solution. But the temperature in the equation is not related to the boiling point of the solution. And since solutions are generally in a liquid phase, the ideal gas law does not apply there. Thus, D would be wrong. In order to consider options B and C, we need to understand the effect solid particles have on the solvent's vapor pressure. When solid is added to the solvent, the number of molecules of the solvent on the surface of the solution decreases, and hence the vapor pressure of the solvent decreases. From this, we can conclude that option C is wrong because it says the solid particles raise the solvent's vapor pressure. And then because we've had eliminated three of the options, E, which states two of the options are correct, can be eliminated, and we are left with option B. So now we know that option B is correct, as it mentions that the solid particles decrease the vapor pressure of the solvent, just as we talked about earlier.